Bye, everyone, and welcome to today's event. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's event. This is our launch for this year's uh, International Archives Week, uh, which is called, and our social media campaign, and it's called Empowering Archives. And we're really pleased to have you here today with us to learn a bit more about the event um, and what we have planned for you this year. So if we can change slides, please. My lovely assistant. So, uh, so we have this year's International Archives Week and Empowering Archives social media campaign is called uh, Empowering Archives. Uh, we will be using a interactive platform today. So please, if you can make sure to download this, we'll be using a little bit later in the launch. Um, it's really easy to use. We used it last year. Our interactive platform is called Slido. So you can go to your app store, whether that's you know Google or your Google app store or your Apple app store and download it. It's really easy to use. Or you can uh, download it or use it uh, via your web browser. So this year's event is uh, event code is hashtag IAW2020, and you'll see it at the top of your screen here. Um, so please, we have two, uh, one interactive question, and then it would it is what we're going to use for our Q and A. Um, although we will be monitoring Facebook Live, we strongly encourage you to use this to submit any questions you have about the event in French, English, or Spanish. We've got people to moderate all three languages here today, just like we did last year. Also, if you want to follow along with us, we have the presentations in French and in Spanish available on our uh, website on the International Archives web uh, International Archives Week website, Empowering Archives. Go there, download it, and you can follow along uh, in either French or in Spanish as we progress through the presentation. Next slide, please. So a little bit of an overview um, that we're doing today, uh, which is going to talk a bit about what is ICA and what does ICA do? What is empowering archives and where does it come from? And this is the part as we get to this uh, where you will be using Slido, uh, where you will be using Slido uh, in order to uh, uh, interact with the questions that we've we've got ready for you. So got a little bit of a quiz. Um, we can also then talk about how you're going to get involved with empowering archives and International Archives Week, both the events on International Archives Week and the social media campaign. And then we'll move into questions and answers. So we're going to start off a little bit. You may already know I may be just preaching to the converted, as they say, but I'm going to talk a little bit about what ICA is and what ICA does and what it offers to its members. So what do our members think? So a couple of years ago, we did a survey called ICA by its members for its members. And that was part of our strategic review. We were trying to understand a bit about what ICA members thought they wanted from the organization, where they thought we should go. Um, and some of the feedback we asked was about what they thought ICA did well. So this is actually coming directly from the survey we did a couple of years ago. Um, and our members really think that ICA is about knowledge sharing and networking. It's internationally recognized for its standards and publications. And it's also uh, recognized for advocating for the importance of records and archives on an international scale. So what is ICA? So the International Council on Archives is a, a professional body that represents the interests and views of archives and archivists and in international forums. So this is, includes our big national archives all the way down to our individual archivists and uh, our 
you know, category, what we call our category D members. Um, and so it really covers the broad spectrum. And uh, we try and advocate for all the different views um, in different forums uh, like WIPO uh, and like UNESCO. So, and it provides spaces for archives and archivists to exchange best practices and share knowledge and discuss current and emerging issues facing the profession of which I'm sure you know are many. And we're gonna try and discuss some of these emerging and really challenging media issues during the course of International Archives Week. Our mission is to promote the preservation and use of archives around the world for the protection and enhancement of uh, cultural memory institutions and to improve communications while respecting cultural diversity. So that kind of gives you a bit of an overview. So what does ICA do? Well, this year we've, we've had to sort of reimagine a little bit about what we do, of course, as many institutions from around the world. We advocate for the importance of records and archives on the international stage, and we support the professional, uh, support professionals through the development of professional programs and networking activities. We offer funding via our program commission, or what we call our PCOM projects, and through the Fund uh, for International Development of Archives, which is FIDA, which is geared to sort of archives that are operating in resource restricted or low resource environments. Um, other ways we support the international archives community is we run three major programs. I can't, I also have to remember all of our sections and branches who run different sort of very specific activities, either by region or according to different subject matter expertise areas. So definitely not leaving them off the list and they're very much an important part of our organization. But there are sort of three major strategic strands that we run from the Secretariat here in Paris. One is the training program. So you may have already seen our online training courses that we've offered, that we've started to offer. We've got three right now, which is Introduction to Records Management, uh, a course on it, uh, the Universal Declaration uh, of, of Archives, and one called Managing Family Records. So uh, all of them have been really popular. All of them are really interesting, definitely recommend recommend you go and take a look. We've got a fourth one planned during International Archives Week, but I'm not going to give anything away. Uh, we're going to save that uh, as part of the teaser that we're going to do leading all the way into International Archives Week. Next thing we have is the, the new professionals program. So as with many institutions around the world um, and many associations around the world, archives are uh, really looking to try and enfranchise and bring in new voices and our new professionals within the organization to ensure that you know, they can build their networks. You know, Early career professionals, we're always looking to build and learn from uh, uh, different different people in the profession and also to give them as well a platform so that we can learn from them it's not just a one-sided exchange so we have the new professionals program which is a great program got it we had a great cohort this year we had a great one last year so i hope that you will learn a bit more about the new professionals program we've got a call coming out probably sometime in may so if you know any new professionals that think should, you should get involved with ica definitely recommend they have a look at that page we also have the Africa program. So one of the things ICA is very keen to do is to support our professional uh, colleagues that work in low resource countries or in resource restricted countries such as that in Africa. And our Africa program is geared, uh, of course, to our colleagues in Africa. We're looking to advocate on the importance of archives and records management in, uh, in terms of transparency and accountability, uh, in terms of the importance of cultural memory institutions. As well, we offer training. So we have our training uh, that was around digital curation, digital preservation, which has won two awards, which was the NDSA award, as well as the DPC award. So really great programming that we've got through that program too. As you can see, just uh, the screenshot we've got is from our program commission. So our program commission uh, guides and runs a lot of these programmatic uh, they're the programmatic offer here at ICA and like many institutions we've had to kind of move our offer online and this was one of our virtual meetings that we had last year. So I'm going to hand off now to two of my colleagues to talk to you about what is empowering archives and where does it come from, and that is Maria Paula Garcia Mosquera, who is the ICA program officer and Roman Lescano, who is the ICA social media manager so off to you guys. Well, thanks, Antia, for the introduction. Uh, so yes, my name is Maria Paula Garcia Mosquera, and I am the responsible for the day-to-day -day management and strategic oversight 
of the activities uh, that Anthea just uh, explained to us. But well, uh, before I, I start my presentation about our general theme for the year, uh, I would like to invite you to connect to Slido, as Anthea mentioned in the first sli slides, that is our interactive app, and use the hashtag IA2021 for participating in our first school, where we are asking you, what does it mean, the phrase empowering archives? Uh, we will give you a minute or so uh, to send your responses. And as Antia mentioned, you will be able to send your, your thoughts and or opinions about this in English, French, and Spanish. So we are just gonna activate the pool. My colleague, Rebecca Ritchie, will help us doing that. Uh, so we could also see the results that you are sending to us. In the meantime, um, maybe Anthea could help, could help us or explain to us a little bit about the ICA strategic plan. And so, yeah, um, a lot of the theme for this year is empowering archives. And as we move along and we discuss, um, uh, as we discuss some of the elements regarding empowering archives, it's actually based on the ICA strategic plan, which is called Empowering Archives in the Profession. We did a presentation of this in November of last year, uh, and that was done with the help of Meg Phillips, uh, who is the international liaison for the National Archives and Records Administration in the United States and is also a PCOM member. So a lot of the uh, pillars, I don't want to talk, take too much away from the, uh, the discussion that Maria and Roman are going to have, but it's essentially a lot of our pillars are actually based on the pillars related to the strategic plan to really offer members another opportunity to talk about some of the issues that were raised in the strategic plan, but were raised in the surveys that we did in, you know, ICA for its members by its members, but also tied to that were some of the, uh, the constitutional changes that are going to be coming up this year. We're going to have an extraordinary General Assembly, and uh, we're going to be giving the members the opportunity to review some of the constitutional changes that we propose, which aligns to excuse me, to empowering, uh, to empowering archives and the, the plan that we've got, our strategic plan, so that as ICA, like all of the different governance documents and all the different committees that we've got at different levels in the organization have the opportunity or have, are, are actually aligned to where it is that we want to go. The plan itself is only for about three years, so 2021 to 2024, um, and likely sometime in 2024, we'll start sort of engaging the membership again to get new ideas, but it was really important for us to try and tie this year's International Archives Week event into the uh, strategic plan, as well as looking ahead to our event uh, in Abu Dhabi, which is hopefully going to happen this coming October. And again, we hope that you will be able to join us uh, for that as well. Yeah, um, so we we are receiving some, some uh, responses to this uh, survey. Unfortunately, we cannot show the results, but I will mention some of them. Thank you for those who mentioned that Empowering Archives is creating community. It's also, it's, it, it also means funding money. It also means uh, mediate and negotiate. But well, we are gonna follow with the, with the presentation. Thank you so much for those who participate in this survey. So, um, Picking up on what Anthea just mentioned about uh, the strategic plan, in fact, uh, Empowering Archives uh, builds on uh, the, this plan that will, co that will be co uh, cover the next four years um, uh, of the, like the, the work that the ICA will do for the next four years. And also, um, it plays on the ICA Abu Dhabi Congress team of empowering knowledge societies. By selecting uh, this general theme, our purpose, in fact, is promoting a virtual uh, conversation about the meaning, need, need for, and need impact of empowering archives in three main areas, which are accountability and transparency, collaboration and networking, and diversity and inclusivity. That is why empowering archives will be our framework uh, for, our, for our third International Archives Week, and for our second social media campaign. Precisely uh, for this second social media campaign, we are inviting the records and archives community to reflect on those three, three main areas. 
In the case of the first one, that is accountability and transparency, we would like to discuss with you how archives empower accountability and transparency through access to information for holding governments to account and ensuring that citizens can protect their rights. In the case of a collaboration and networking, we are curious about how the two ways, these two ways of working enable us to empower archives and the profession to help us achieve our goals and objectives for the profession and our institutions through the support of allied professions while helping other sectors and the general public understand what we do as archivists and records managers. And we would like to also talk to you about how to challenge current archival theory and practice to make it more diverse and inclusive of different voices along with different histories. So we hope you could join us to this conversation, not only through our social media channels, but also in the activities that we are preparing for the International Archives Week. Oh, well, now my colleague Roman Liscano will talk more about how we are planning to develop this social media campaign. All right, thank you, Maria Paula. So thank you for your introduction. So as Maria Paula stated before, my name is Roman Lescano, I'm ICA's community manager. And I will be commenting a little bit about some of the goals that we're looking to achieve with this international social media campaign, Empowering Archives. So just to do a little bit of history here, our first social media campaign was Un Archivo Es, An Archive Is. Um, this campaign was made in collaboration with our ALA associates, our ALA regional branch, Latin American regional branch, and the campaign, campaign ended up being a great success. We had people from all over the world tuning in to discuss and join a global conversation about what an archive meant to them. The discussion ended up extending uh, into more than nine languages across all the continents. So, just like we have been mentioning in this second social media campaign, we're calling once again the community, users, and the general public to contribute with your views, opinions, and thoughts about the theme Empowering Archives. So just to give you a little bit of an overview about the campaign's uh, structure and the event's structure, we have segmented the social media campaign into three, three main uh, stages. For the first stage, we're launching a series of videos titled Let's Talk About. So this series will be featuring well-known and recognized archival professionals from all over the world who will be providing their input on the main theme of the campaign, which is empowering archives. And we will also be discussing, and we have also included, of course, the three sub-themes, which are once again, accountability and transparency, collaboration and networking and inclusivity and diversity. So each week we will be featuring videos on each specific topic. The videos will be presented in English, French and Spanish. The first series goes from April 6 up until the 9th under the theme Empowering Archives. So we will be talking how to empower archives and how this helps empowering our profession. The second series goes from the 12th up until the 16th, and it will be empowering archives and accountability. So on this topic, we would like to explore how archivists are accountable in our own spaces and how we support the accountability of other institutions. The third series will cover empowering archives and collaboration and networking. So how you can strengthen your professional networks by enabling collaboration, not only within the sector, but also including other professions. And the fourth series will be empowering archives and inclusivity and diversity. So here we will be discussing how archives are engaging in learning and acting on more diverse and inclusive spaces, practices, and conversations. So to sum up, the first stage of the social media campaign will be a, so, a series of videos who will be, that will be covering the main theme of the social media campaign, Empowering Archives, and its three pillars. The second stage of the campaign, which will go from May 3rd up until the 31st uh, of May, will include your participation. So we're now opening the discussion and we're 
calling once again the archival community, users, and the general public to contribute with your views and thoughts and opinions on the theme Empowering Archives. Just like we did last year, we'll be capturing the responses and quotes shared by you, the participants, and we will socialize them with the archival community. A great way that you can, in which you can share your views and thoughts is by recording uh, one minute videos, ideally. So in that way you can participate and you can start also using uh, the branded content that will be, uh, will be available for you to use. Don't forget to use um, the campaign's official logo too. Then the third stage of the social media campaign will be, of course, International Archives Day, which will be on June 9th. Uh, within that week, we're, we're also preparing a series of events. Um, and of course, the big day, as I mentioned before, will be uh, International Archives Day. On this day, we're asking you again for your participation, and we would like to know how your, your archive, your institution, is empowering archives. So that will be more or less the structure of the social media campaign. Um, if you have any comments or any suggestions, you can reach, uh, you can get in contact me with me uh, via our social media channels, or you can contact the ICA team on ICA.org. Thank you very much. Back to you, Anthea. Brilliant. Thanks, Roman. So we're going to move on now to talk a bit more about how you can get involved in empowering archives. And uh, we're going to split this between Roman and I, so we're going to we're going to do a bit of a tag team. So uh, you can join ICA social media campaign, uh, Empowering Archives, like Roman just described. And so you can submit videos, you can submit quote cards like we had last year. We had an absolutely incredible engagement last year uh, from all over the world. So I strongly encourage everyone on this call and people who will watch this video later, please contribute because the contributions were fabulous. Um, also participate in Let's Talk About Empowering Archives and International Archive Week webinars, which I'll get to in a minute, a little bit later in the presentation, to give you a sense of the three main topics that we'll be exploring during the course of International Archives Week. Um, and then share your events or activities with us and be part of the International Archives Week Global Programming. So we have a web forum. It is available through the ICA website, uh, through the International Archives Week pages. It's a bit different from last year where we had uh, our WeMap, but we're trying to sort of look at new and, and fun ways to be able to share information about what different archives uh, are planning and doing for International Archives Week. So if you have conferences, if you have workshops, if you have digital exhibitions, podcasts, webinars, whatever it is that you're offering this year, depending on, you know, COVID situation uh, and everything else, please do let us know. We really do want to hear from you. Next slide, please. So a little bit about this year's International Archives Week. So like I think we said during the course of this presentation, it's really a week to underscore how archives and records institutions and the profession empower accountability and transparency. I think that's super important. We do have a cultural role to play, but we also have a really important accountability and transparency role to play. How we are empowered through the networking and collaboration that we do with different communities. I'm thinking, you know, specifically around digital preservation, but there are many, many different ways that we can network and collaborate. So again, we want to hear from you about what you think the, those really great uh, projects and opportunities are to network and collaborate. And really, we uh, sort of looking at how can we empower greater diversity and inclusivity in the archives, both in terms of the profession, but I think too, in terms of our practice. Uh, and I think that's definitely discussions that are happening in different segments in the archival community. And we need to have those discussions as well as well at the internet national level. So we've got uh, three sort of major days where we have events planned. We have a webinar planned or in the works of getting planned around accountability and transparency. Um, it will be a Spanish speaking webinar for that, that particular one. And we're gonna look to see how we facilitate sort of some of the translation. I know it's challenging uh, and I know we're doing this presentation in English, but just a reminder to everybody on the call that or on Facebook Live that there are the slides are available on the ICA website through the Empowering Archives web pages. They're available in Spanish and in French, so you can follow along or you can find out more information that way. 
So that's on June the 7th. That's our what I'm going to call our accountability and transparency day. So we welcome all sorts of submissions on that day around accountability and transparency. The 9th of June, which is the day for ICA and for archives internationally, that is International Archives Day. On that day, we have a really big event. We can't talk about it yet, uh, but we will talk about it. A really big event planned for the, the morning of the 9th of June. So morning European time, the 9th of June. So please watch this space. We will communicate a bit more once we've got our webinar uh, schedule down pat, but it's really exciting and we're really looking forward to it. We have a webinar in the afternoon with our partners, the Digital Preservation Coalition. So again, really looking forward to that. And it's sort of a, a reprise what we did last year during International Archives Week. Um, and the theme, again, will be what I wish I knew about digital preservation, but the focus will be on networking and collaborating. And then, of course, we have in the afternoon, I think uh, Paris time, but in the uh, morning period in Latin America, Allah is organizing uh, a webinar. So please do go check out their website and, and see what uh, their webinar offer on International Archives Day. International Archives Day is also the pinnacle for the social media campaign. So please be sure to participate in as many ways as you possibly can. Then we've got the 11th of June, which is the art day around inclusivity and diversity. So we are organizing a webinar to kind of talk a little bit about control and narrative and agency in the archives. So trying to get into some pretty needy issues, but this is something that as a profession and as a community, we need to have a really sustained and honest discussion about. Um, so this is really sort of opening the, the, the discussion, the conversation amongst all of us around, some, uh, around these issues. So look out for videos, webinars, and other online interactions within the archival and records community. We have a number of our partners, sections, branches, uh, our forums are also participating. So we really want to hear from the community as part of this. We have other webinars planned uh, for in French uh, as well as in English during the course of the week. And when we announce our webinar schedule, we'll clearly identify uh, which of our webinars will be in what language and uh, what translation uh, capabilities we will have or interpretation capabilities we will have at that time. Brilliant. So I think it's off back to Roman. All right, thank you so much, Anthea. So um, as we mentioned before, we have a lot of social media campaign with ICA strategic plan 2021-2024. And by doing this, we're offering also an international platform for archivists from all over the world to share their views, ideas, and thoughts about how we can empower archives and also how we can empower um, our profession. So the cultural diversity represented on ICA becomes an amazing opportunity to open and enrich the discussion at a global scale. We of course encourage everyone to participate and advocate the importance of records and archives within your own communities. So we will be publishing reflections, not only from leaders in the archival field, but also we're inviting colleagues from other professions, as Cynthia was mentioning before, to join the discussion about the importance of empowering archives. So to make sure that everyone is represented in this social media campaign, we're looking to generate crossovers of information and we will be socializing the different views collected from the different countries participating in this campaign. So um, a good amount of resources will be available to you uh, just to make sure you know that everyone can participate. So how you can get involved in empowering archives? Well, the first thing you can do is to tell everyone about it on your social media. We're introducing the campaign today. So there's already some material that you can start repurposing or publishing to start sharing within your own network. At the end of this presentation, you will find also the direct links to our social media channels and platforms. You can start, uh, if you're not doing so, you can start following us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and WeChat. We're also publishing a dedicated web page on the ICA website where you will find all the information related to this campaign and also to International Archives Week 2021. As we mentioned before, one of our goals on this campaign, of this campaign is to collate your contributions and share them with the international archival community. 
just like we did with uh, last year's campaign. We were collecting your comments, your views, and your thoughts. We were repurposing them. We were branding them with the, Arca the campaign's logo, um, and we were sharing them uh, throughout our social media channels. In terms of resources, uh, we will be offering a Trello board where you will find introductory videos from ICA's president, David Fricker, and ICA's general secretary, uh, Anthea Seles. And you will also find contributions, of course, made by our guests and our partner organizations. Um, all of the posters that we will be publishing in our social media platforms will be available for you to download too. You can also access and download customizable templates so that you can express uh, your views in your own language. And among other resources, you will also find animations, the official campaign's logo, um, and a direct link to Canvas. So Canvas, uh, it's this very basic and easy to use online software for you to um, customize your templates or for you to change or modify the templates that will be available to you on Trello. All of these resources that we're preparing for you will be available on May 3rd uh, via Trello. And we will be announcing this uh, in our social media channels and also on the ICA website. So just like last year, we encourage everyone to join us, to participate, to share your, your views and your ideas, and to make the hashtag Empowering Archives a trend around the world. Thank you so much. Back to you, Anthea. Brilliant. Thank you, Roman. So, so if we can have the next slide, please. So thanks so much for joining us. It was a sort of a quick overview of what we've got planned for this year, much like we did last year. We will make these slides available on the ICA website. Like I said earlier, the slides are also available in French and Spanish on the website too. If you have any questions for us, please don't hesitate to send us an email at ICA at ICA.org. And please do follow us on all of our different social media channels. We've got the Facebook page, Twitter. Uh, the little green one is WeChat for our colleagues in China, uh, and then YouTube as well, because that's where we're going to be putting this video and all the webinar videos. And if you want to look at the webinar videos from last year, those are also available on uh, our YouTube channel. Thank you. Final slide. So we've got a Q&A. So if you actually want to send us any questions that you have via the, actually the Twitter feed, then, or not the Twitter feed, I'm sorry, the uh, Facebook feed, then please do let us know. Um, at this point, I don't see any questions via Slido, but let's see if uh, we can find, let's see, nope. So um, if anybody has any questions, please feel free either to use Slido, so we discussed it at the beginning of the presentation, uh, or you, like I said, you can use uh, the, the Facebook page. Here we go. No, I don't see any questions at this point. We can maybe have a chat amongst ourselves. So Roman, uh, what was probably some of the more interesting exchanges you had last year? So last year, our theme was Un Archivo S. Uh, an archives is, une archive c'est. So what were the sort of interesting returns and, and observations that you had from last year uh, hearing from the community? Yeah, I would say, as we mentioned before in the, in the presentation, the number of languages involved and participating in un archivo es was uh, overwhelmingly um, gratifying. Uh, we had comments in Russian, in uh, Filipino, English, French, Spanish, um, Japanese. So there was a lot of people participating pretty much from all over the globe. And we, of course, as I said before, we encourage everyone to, to participate, to share your views, your ideas. You can get in touch with us uh, via Facebook, Twitter, make suggestions, um, look different ways to engage in the social media campaign. We're open, we're really open to comments and suggestions. Um, and in regards to an RTOS, uh, also, we have uh, really good contributions from people um, and it was really enriching to get like different perspectives from people from all over the world about the same topic. So once again, please join us and participate in Empowering, Empowering Archives. 
Absolutely, thanks, Roman. And I think I have the same observations regarding our webinars because I think we saw people from all over the world engaging on a number of different topics. Last year and uh, during uh, our social media campaign, as well as during uh, all of our webinar presentations, we got to hear from people from Asia, Africa, Latin America, North America, and Europe. And we heard from parts of the world that we hadn't heard from, I think, in a, in a long, long time. Um, and so I think this is a great way for people to reach out to us, let us know what you're thinking let us know what you're you know how you think about the the programming because we're always really interested in hearing back from our members to understand like are we are, are these the topics you want to talk about or are these the issues that you want us to explore so yeah definitely if uh, if there are any questions that come up uh, during after this, you know, as I said, please send us an email at ICA at ICA.org. Uh, for our Latin American colleagues, you know, we, we can answer questions in Spanish. We've got um, our colleague here, Marco Enriquez uh, from ALA, who is graciously, very kindly contributing his time and, and resources to us to help us uh, run this program. Uh, we're, we're also really sort of grateful for ALA for all the support they've given us over the last two years around our social media campaign. Uh, as well as uh, our webinars. So yes, our partners, uh, like I said, Marco, and then the ICA Secretariat, and then we've got our partners who we can't quite talk about yet, except for maybe DPC. Um, and once we've got everything confirmed and lined up, then we will be able to share more information with you about the webinars and sort of the webinar planning. Um, and any other, like I said, any other questions you have, just let us know. So um, I see SOS Archivi, our partners for Rome 2020, I'm really pleased to see you on the call today <laughs> and all of the our other colleagues who've taken the time to join us from all over the world. We really do appreciate you spending the, the 36 minutes with us as we talk a bit about our new social media campaign and we hope that you will participate. So my apologies for some of the technical issues we encountered today, c'est la vie, but thankfully we have multiple different uh, channels where you can get a hold of us and, and ask for any points of clarification. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week and I look Look forward to seeing everybody during International Archives Week, and I expect to see you all uh, uh, participating in this year's social media campaign and letting us know what you think about how empower how archives empower accountability and transparency, uh, diversity and inclusivity, and collaboration and networking. Well, thank you, everybody, and thank you to the team as well. Have a great rest of the day. <laughs>